What's up, folks? Welcome to the channel. I'm Don. It's Rockin' a Country. I am doing Ann Murray's song, Snowbird. I don't know if I... Oh, man, that's interesting. I've got Songbird Jones's t-shirt on. Now, that's fine. I just realized that. Songbird Jones, a group that I had re reacted to a few times, sent me the t-shirt, which if more artists did that, I'd wear their shirts more often on the channel, obviously. This is requested by Debbie Bell 1801. I knew a Debbie Bell from up here in Jersey and her kids and her and her husband or or I have lost touch with her over the last 20 years, but Debbie, if that's you from New Jersey, hi. I don't know this song. I don't know if I've done anything by Ann Murray. Let me check real quick. Now, according to my records, I haven't. So we're getting some Ann Murray on the channel. Here we go. Standard country baseline. Beneath its snowy mantle, cold and clean, the unborn grass lies waiting for its coat to turn to green. The snowbird sings a song he always sings and speaks to me of flowers that will bloom again in spring. When I was young, my heart was young then too. And anything. Tell me that's the thing that I would do But now I feel such emptiness within For uh -oh. the thing that I want most in life's the thing that I can't win uh -oh. Spread your tiny wings and fly away And take the snow back with you where it came from on that day What I love forever is untrue I would fly away with you. Oh, she's the breeze hurting. along the river seems to say that he'll only break my heart again should I decide to stay. So, little snowbird, take me with you when you go to that land of gentle breezes where the peaceful waters flow. Spread your tiny wings and fly away. Snow back with you where it came from on that day. What I love forever is untrue. And if I could, you know that I would fly away with you. Yeah, if I could, you know that I would fly away with you. Man, oh man, that is just a, what an artistic way, an absolutely beautiful way of invoking nature. And speaking of heartbreak, you wouldn't know if you tuned into that song midway through and just let any part of that song, if you listen to a five, 10 second clip, you would not know it's got heartbreak and confusion. But she just wants to fly away, take the snow with, take the snow with you, do all that stuff. The day that I guess she met this guy on a snowy day or something, and but she just she doesn't want to risk that heartache again, whether he would commit or something. I didn't get all the details weren't there, which I like that part, but clearly we know what you know, he wasn't committing or he had gone and come back, and she just she just wants to go where it's peaceful and. Forget about the day maybe that she met him. I don't get the sense that she dislikes him. I think she loves this guy. He just, it sounds like he won't commit. But yeah, it's, that's how I heard it. You guys could hear it your own way and maybe I'm misinterpreting it. And that's normal. That's par for the course for a first listen. Uh, sometimes for a 10th listen, you listen to some songs decades later and you're like, gosh, I still am not quite sure what that song's about but sometimes good songwriting does that it keeps you hanging in there for a long time debbie bell that's beautiful that's uh, just very pretty i mean i'm so glad to have finally gotten to an ann murray song too because i saw her name i'm like surely i've done ann before but i didn't remember it and i had remembered correctly i hadn't done her before so all right i'm gonna rate this song and the number that popped into my head was an 8.8 .8. 
It was intriguing. I love the orchestral violin. I know in country you call it a fiddle, but it depend to me, even in country, if it's like Charlie Daniels fiddle, if it's one per you know, Alison Krauss, one person mixed in with the instrumentation, yes. But if it's underneath it, or I and it really is kind of underneath it. When you it seems like there are a couple of violinists going and it's like this muted orchestral sound. That to me is just more violin even though they're the same instrument i think just they use different strings i think it's ver gosh what what type of string do they use more often on a violin in country music is it the synthetic strings like nylon i guess or is it the steel i'm gonna guess it's the nylon but i don't know that's a good question some of you will answer it if you made it this far all right debbie bell thank you again my dear have a great day, folks. I'll see you on another video. Keep rocking the country.